subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hello in this video we will discuss the novel the scorted letter written by nathaniel hawthorne the scorted letter is a historical fiction by american author nathaniel hawthorne and was published in 1850 The novel is set in Puritan society during the years 1642 to 1649. It tells the story of Hester Prynne and her suffering in a Puritan society after she conceives a child with a man named Arthur Dimmesdale to whom she is not married. The novel revolves around the themes of sin, love, puritanism, repentance and suffering. Let us now Look at the main characters. Our first character is Hester Prynne. Hester Prynne, the wife of Roger Chillingworth and the mother of Pearl, is the protagonist in the novel who is wearing the scarlet letter A that signifies that she is an adulterer. Then we have Pearl. She is the illegitimate daughter of Hester Prynne and Arthur Dimmesdale. She stands as a symbol for Hester's sin and strength. Next is Roger Chillingworth. Roger Chillingworth is an old scholar and the husband of Hester Prynne. They were married before coming to Boston. Then we have Arthur Dimmesdale. He is a well-respected clergyman and the secret father of Pearl. Other characters in the novel are Mr. Sibness Governor Billingham, John Wilson, Jonathan Pew. The story begins when a crowd of men and women gather at the entrance of the prison. They are anxiously waiting for Hester Prynne to come before them. It was a regular custom for Puritans to watch the criminal coming out of the jail to be punished. Women in the crowd shout that Hester should be punished harshly. Meanwhile, has come out of the prison with her infant daughter in her lap she is led towards the scaffold as part of her punishment has to supposed to stand on the scaffold for hours in front of the crowd a man in the crowd tells an elderly man that hester is being punished for adultery the elderly man is roger chillingworth a scholar and the husband of hester now practicing medicine When Hester and Roger got married, they planned to move Boston. He sent his wife to set up in Boston, but he himself failed to arrive there because he was held hostage by Native Americans. During his absence, Hester falls in love with Dimmesdale and gives birth to a daughter without wedlock. Chillingworth arrives in Boston on the day when Hester is publicly shamed and forced to wear the scarlet letter. To divert her attention from the crowd, Hester remembers her past life in England and also thinks about her parents and husband. Now as Hester is being led to the prison again, her daughter Pearl starts crying. Hester asks for a physician and Roger Chillingworth comes in the cell and gives healing concoctions to mother and daughter. He forgives his wife for the sin she has committed. but insisted Hester to reveal the name of the person who is the father of the child but she refused to tell the truth Roger intends to avenge the person and tells Hester not to reveal his identity to anyone else after 3 years decision is made to release Hester from prison and set her free after releasing Hester decides not to leave Boston and takes Pearl with her to stay in a cottage on the outskirts of the town Hester is a seamstress and supports her living on sewing clothes though she keeps herself busy in sewing clothes she feels sometimes alienated from society in the atmosphere of alienation her daughter Pearl is her only companion but their isolation eventually starts to affect Pearl's behavior and she grows into a willful, inquisitive and rebellious young girl. Her behavior starts to attract the attention of the people, and members of the church recommend that Pearl should be taken away from Prynne in order to receive better supervision. 
but with the help of author Dimis Dale, the mother and the daughter managed to stay together. Meanwhile, author Dimis Dale is Hallus Detroiteus. Roger suspects that there is a connection between Hester and Pearl and Dimmesdale's failing Hallow. He asks the town officials to assign him to live with Dimmesdale so that he can cure him. It is during Dimmesdale's treatment, Roger finds a suspicious red mark on his chest and the marks of the whiff he used to punish himself for his sins. Now Roger is convinced that his suspicions are correct. Under Rogo's treatment, Dimmesdale's health worsens. Dimmesdale meditates over a sin of adultery, deprives himself of sleep, and starts to whip himself as punishment. One night, Dimmesdale mounts the same scaffold upon which Hester was publicly shamed. Hester and Pearl pause by and join Dimmesdale on the scaffold. Pearl requests Dimmesdale to acknowledge his sin publicly, but he refused to do so. A meteor then lights the sky in the shape of a red A and illuminates Roger standing nearby. Hester can see that Dimmesdale's condition is worsening and she goes to Roger and asks him to stop adding to Dimmesdale's self torment but Chillingworth refused to do so. Hester secretly meets Dimmesdale in the forest and they decide to flee Europe where they can begin a new life with Pearl as a family. Both feel a sense of relief and Hester removes her scarlet letter and lets down her hair. The day before the ship is to sail, Dimmesdale gives a triumphant sermon before the people. After his sermon, he notices Hester and Pearl standing near the scaffold. Dimmesdale along with Hester and Pearl mounts the scaffold and tells them that it is better place than what they dreamed of in the forest. Then Dimmesdale confesses his sin publicly and exposes Scotland letter engraved on his chest. As he falls on the floor, he asks Pearl to kiss him and Pearl kisses him. Hester sitting beside Dimmesdale tells him that they will meet in heaven and Dimmesdale dies. Chillingworth dies a year later. On his death, he bequeathed Pearl the share of his property in England and New England. After the death of Dimmesdale, Hester and Pearl leave Boston, and after many years, Hester returns alone, still wearing the Scotland letter, to live in her old cottage and resume her charitable work. She receives letters from Pearl, who is now married in Europe. When Hester dies, she is buried next to Dimmesdale. The two share a single tombstone, which bears a Scotland letter A.